approach. So, yeah. Yeah, the so that's the grip rope in and closing. You can remote control the arm to lift it up and out of the screen, or if you need to grab something that's down on there, you can pick it up and the hand can rotate. Pick something up. And then the rope, the, the thing out of the way. Why don't you try with that? It can do a, it can turn uh, turn on a dime 180 so it can turn tight spaces. Go all the way down to um, 1004. So I believe they have a turbo pump on there. Okay. Uh, one other thing to notice is that it has IR sensors in the front and back. Right. So as I get close to something, you can see this blue line right here. That indicates that it's sensing something in that distance. Right. So if you're backing up, since you don't have any idea, you don't have a rear view at the moment. But you do have a bar to show up. Right. Yeah. There you go. So there you go. So you can see here that the bar is coming up to the point that I know there's something behind me. So I can slow down, and then if I want to, I can turn. See, so sure enough, there's a wall there. So you want to go down to... So the refresh rate on the camera is pretty good. It's good yeah. enough to, to drive by. That was another key issue that we wanted to make a uh, double check on. It does take some practice to steer it. Uh, there's other interfaces too. There's a, a joystick style interface um, that we haven't implemented yet that um, might make it easier to steer than using this mouse interface. So I think it would be useful to have IR sensors on left and right. That way you could put yourself up against the wall. Yeah. Hey, there's someone there. Hey, um, I want to look at it real quick because I'm worried that we might not be, um, the red probe isn't mounted to it right now, so I just want to do a quick visual inspection. That's how far I got. It didn't, it's, it's not stopped or anything, I just wanted to make sure it's okay.